Well, today I'm going to burn off this, what I call the tub garden, and it's, it's made of um, fiberglass tubs. I think there are 93 of them, 99 of them, something like that. Fiberglass tubs that I have cut the bottoms out of them so the roots of the plants can grow down through. And it's just a, man, it's a really good place to do corn. I don't have to worry about the, the weather uh, washing them out, you know, the rain come and, and washing seeds or washing tiny plants. Um, it's a great place for onions, although this year I did onions in, um, in containers, in wicking tubs. Uh, so I've come through here, I only had two uh, drip lines. So I pull the, pull the drip lines out and I think I'm ready to start burning. It, um, you know, it's gonna be a slow process. I'll show you a little bit of it in real time and then we'll go to uh, a time lapse and I'll show you the afterwards of it. But, you know, I, I'm not somebody that's completely against using chemicals and, um, and I have used, you know, chemicals on this to, to burn off some of this. And, uh, but I, you know, I really, if I don't have to, if I don't have to, I'm going to just use, um, use the flame and if you don't have one of these torches boy you need one uh, they just really come in handy for burning weeds and for starting brush piles oh my goodness they're good at starting a brush pile look below the video for a link uh to that uh to that setup now it's just a you know my setup is just a propane tank a two-wheeler with a bungee around it holding the propane tank on and the um the torch so anyway, watch as I do a little bit of this and then we'll uh, come back once it's uh, done or mostly done and I'll show you the results of it. So let's get started on this. Don't ask me where I get these fiberglass tubs because I can't get any more. And they were from a business that was throwing them away and I was right place at the right time and got a bunch of them. So, crank up the torch. Don't get a torch without a lighter, without a, the, the little piezo, I believe they call it, because that's just, you, it's gonna be so frustrating. You'll have to light and light and light, because it goes out a lot. Don't get a torch that doesn't have the lighter on it. is noisy. It does use some propane, and propane is getting expensive, but it's not using chemicals. So I didn't get it all done. I felt my pressure kind of getting low and I uh, just don't think I have enough propane to do the rest of it. And, but I'll try, I may go back and do the rest of it. But just uh, to show you what it looks like. Well, let me break in here a moment. I was gonna let that be the end of the video and just show you what I did and not the results. But this is about three or four days later and I'm just really impressed. Everything is just deader than a hammer and just that's a really great way to uh, not use chemicals and to burn off uh, to rid your garden spot of weeds and I really didn't just looking at it I didn't have to stay on it 
all that long. I mean, I didn't have to apply the fire near as long as I did in some places because as I, as I came on down, I, I hurried up a little and it's just as dead as the, the places that I spent a little more time on with the torch. So, um, man, and I did run out of propane. So, um, the plan is now I'll burn off, uh, those two rows there and those two rows there of tubs of raised beds. And, uh, but I just want to show you, it really, uh, really worked good. So I'll come through here now. There's a, there's a lot of, a lot of grass fires going on right now. So they're encouraging people not to burn because it's been so windy and we've, uh, just hadn't had much rain. So I may go ahead and burn and just keep my, keep my hose handy because this, this dry stuff, uh, when I hit it with a torch, it's going to go up. I mean, it's going to burn. I've got a lot of leaves in between and they go up too. So I need to take more precaution burning the dry stuff because it's going to really flame up and burn, and, you know, burn real well. I need to take more precaution there than I did when I was burning it off and it was green and, and like I will take over here. But I'm going to come through here and burn all that off. That just, uh, man, that looks good. And just wanted to show you the after. I wasn't going to. I was just going to leave it at that. But uh, uh, I hadn't started editing that video yet. So why not come out here and show you the product of, um, of my burning. It looks good. And I know there's a lot of seeds in there of that, um, uh, what's it called? Morning glory stuff. Um, I know there's a lot of seeds of that in there as well as this hen bit. I don't know whether it seeds itself out or comes back from the roots. I'm not sure. Again, corn and peas probably planted here. And if not, I may just, uh, I may just burn it off and, uh, and rest it this year. Not sure, but, uh, I think I'm going to plant corn, peas, and potatoes. My experiment with potatoes will probably be on just this one row here. So that will be real quick because it is time to plant taters. Anyway, thought I'd show you the result. Real happy with the result. You don't have to just stay on it, burn, 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 burn. You can just hit it. Just when you see it start to wilt, then move on to the next, move on to another spot. And it's going to die. That gum is going to die good. All right, that's it. We are gone.